Right, hello everybody, Mark here. Today I'm going to be having a bread roll. There we go, That's uh, there was four in a pack for a pound. I'm going to be having one of these with two sausages that are going to be done in the oven and some bacon. Eh, maybe one or two, I don't know yet. Anyway, there's going to be some bacon. Uh, oh, uh, cheese and one of those gherkins, which I'll show you. I, sh um, I showed you the bottle last week. I got this from the Cash and Carry. There we go, there's a lot of gherkins in there, so I'm gonna be having one of those. I'm gonna chop that up, put it in with the uh, in the roll, with the sausage, with the bacon, with the cheese. Okay, so that's what I'll be having. Now, r right now, I'm... Um, I'm actually buttering the roll. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. And while I'm doing that, I'll do some shout outs from the the book of shout outs. It's um, OK. There, there's three of them that actually if I can keep this thing still. They're actually all on the same subject. Now, uh, what do I do now? I've done a few. I, I actually made some uh, McMuffins. Okay, so if you type in Mark's Remarks McMuffin, I've um, done some, uh, what was it, uh, bacon and egg and cheese McMuffins. Now what I did, I uh, invited the, um, my viewers to uh, give it a name and Dan Dan has come up with a name um, the Muck Mark Finn, as a as a change from the Muck Muffin, the Muck Mark Finn, <laughs> the Muck Marfin. So thank you, Dan Dan, for that one. Uh, that's actually not bad. That one. Let's uh, see, Paulie four twenty. His name for the my version of the McDonald's muffin would be. So I'm trying to trying to look at the camera, butter this, and read at the same time. Uh, what's it? Right, I'll start again. Four, poorly 420, the... Right, the... The Mark Donald's Real Bacon Mark Muffin. That's what he would call it. The Mark Donald's Real Bacon Mark Muffin. <laughs> okay, and the last one, Wendell Boy, Remarkable Muffin. Remark... Remarkable Muffin. There we are, that's not bad as as well. Yeah, all, some pretty good ones there. So, um, yeah, I mean, anybody else comes up with any, by all means. It's, uh, I've got another one coming up, I'm going to be loading it. I've already filmed it, I'm going to be loading it in a few days. It's a triple McMuffin. There we go. I've done a, a single egg and a single bacon and a single cheese McMuffin. Then I did a double, double of everything. And now I've done, I also did the, uh, today I did a treble. That's three eggs, three bacon, three cheese, McMuffin. So I'll be loading that, and that'll be good if you can come up with a name for that as well. Big, um, that'll be a big monster muffin. That, oh, that's a very good name, monster muffin. Anyway, okay, so thank you, Dan Dan, Paulie 420 Wendell Boy. Okay, um, okay, now I've buttered the, um, I've buttered the, uh, buttered the roll. I've got the sausages in the oven. They're going to take sort of 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I'll do a couple of bacon in the... I'm going to do them in the frying pan right here. Okay. Now, what I've done so, so far, what's going on, is the sausages. I cook them slightly on the outside, open them up, and then put them face down in the oven. And they're starting to get, you know, they get a little bit brown. I like them nice and dark in the middle. So I'm going to put them in for a little bit longer. And... Uh, when these are almost done, then I'll uh, then I'll put the bacon on, and then uh, oh, we're gonna cut up the, uh, the gherkin. Yeah. Okay, I've turned on the the bacon, and uh, I'm gonna cook that through. Should only take about five or so minutes. Uh, I'm gonna do it on a really really slow, gentle heat. So turn them over every minute, minute or two. Anyway, so that's there. The sausages are not far away. And I've, what I've done, I've taken one of the gherkins out of the jar. 
and uh, washed it and sliced it up as you can see there there you go there's probably more slices than I need so I'll, I'll just I'll put whatever I need in the uh, in the in the uh, bun in the bur uh, in the roll and uh, and then just eat the rest I'll be fine okay the bacon's cooking away I'm what I'm doing every every minute or so I'm flipping it over just to keep the, uh, the, the the colour even on both sides there. I'm not going to cook it until it's really overly done, you know, like I normally would. Just uh, just so it's, you know, I mean, the, the, the bacon's real thin anyway, so I mean, it won't take, uh, to, you know, if you want to overdo it. Anyway, this is only going to take another couple of minutes. So then what I'll do, I'll shift it over. I'll take the, the, the actual uh, sausages are pretty much done. So I'll put those in here just to keep hot. And then I'll put the uh, bread rolls with the cheese on it under the grill just to just to melt a little bit. Okay. Now the bacon is done. It's uh, it's getting it's getting on the dark side now. So I'm going to put it in a big heap over here. And I'm going to bring over the. The container for the scrap oil. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the fork on the bacon so it doesn't tip out. And I'm going to empty all the excess liquid into the jug. There we go, because we don't need any of that. I'm going to turn the heat down to, it's on seven now, to about sort of five and a half. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is put the sausages, I mean you can see the sausages are, but that's the inside when I've opened them up, there's the outside, okay, so I'm just going to put them in the pan just to keep hot, okay, um, and what I'm going to do is just put the the bread under the grill just for a few minutes until it's uh, you know get the cheese melted. That's when the cheese really the flavour really starts to come through when it's melted. Okay, so when that comes out melted, I'm going to add the gherkins, the sausages, and the bacon to it. Alrighty then, there you go. There's the two halves of the bread with the melted cheese. All right, put them back. Okay, um, right then, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Let's see, right. Okay, you can uh, see all that. Okay, now, uh, let me see. I think we'll start off with a one that's one sausage it's about seen cut into two halves there okay let's see where's the uh right well, that's the bottom okay then some gherkin then some bacon and a bit more bacon and another gherkin, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll put um, another two. That'll be enough with a gherkin, I think. Okay, then the bacon. And, yeah, then this, then the sausage, the last bit, the last sausage. Right. And then, of course, I can um, I can just eat the gherkin, eat the gherkin on its own. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, a little bit sharp, but these are good. Let me tell you. Right. Okay. There you have it. Okay, so you saw the different layers and. And now, put the uh, the top on it. Okay, there you have it. Okay. 
So we've got four slices of gherkin, two slices of cheese, two slices of bacon, and two sausages, all in a bread roll. There we go. Now, and the cheese is, all that hot sausage and bacon is melting the cheese even further than the grill. Okay. Right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. The bread is warm as well. Mmm. Yeah, there's a few drips coming out of this sandwich. I think it's because of the, um, the gherkin. Oh yeah, I tell you. Mmm. Let's just sell this in shops. You know? Because, uh, I tell you, if somebody was to put this in their sandwich shop, it'd be a winner. Anyway, so I'll just remind you, um, all right, two bread rolls, there's two cheese, two sausages, two bacon, and a gherkin, right? If you can come up with a name for that, by all means, write it in. And you'll get a mention. Mmm. And if you get the chance, make this at home. Oh boy, this is this is really good. I'm really impressed. In fact, if you could, uh, if anybody could put this put this video onto Twitter and Facebook, you know, pass the word out. Hopefully, get some new uh, new viewers, perhaps some new subs. This is a real good example that uh, you know you could send out to them. You know, if you've got any friends on, you know, that you want to pass this on to, you know, you'd be doing them a favour by uh, putting them onto this this sandwich. Let me tell you. Mm. Mm. You've got the crunchy of the bacon, the crunchy of the outside of the bread, the crispness of the, the gherkins. The gherkins are good because they get a bit of a crunch, but they're sort of soft and moist as well, you know. Mm. And the cheese. Let me tell you, this is great. I really want to try this. Anyway, yeah, if you, any, if you get a chance, you know, any help you can do with that um, Facebook and whatnot, would be great. Anyway, meantime, thank you for watching.